Hey everybody, today we got the PlayStation VR second generations and we're gonna do the unboxing right now and I'm gonna let my son, you know, we'll walk you through what's inside the box and, the, and the, everything about it. But before that, please concern subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for future video. So let's begin. Now the unboxing. We have the uh, Horizon bundle that came with it. So first thing what you get, you can see there's a controller and the headset itself pretty simple so we take it out and that's your controller and that's all everything in the box that's it and this box a tiny box was for the glue it does include the game the game code if you get there yeah okay. and uh the headphones, headphones, the USB uh, charger for the controllers. It gives you one, but that's okay. So only a few things. You see that? That's, that's it. it. Oh wow. It's what do you think? It's tiny. <laughs> it's a lot smaller than I thought. Is it light, heavy? It's lighter. Yeah. All the other ones, it's lighter than all the other ones we've had. So yeah. it's like the uh, the Quest in a way, with how light it is. In the way, it's like the Quest. It's light though. It doesn't feel. It feel. It doesn't feel cheap. But it feels light. So it's okay. surprising with how light it is. Okay. How about the controller? Controllers. These I'm interested in. It's a different design than what most of them are on the market compared to most controllers. They're a lot different. What do you think about them? They feel nice. They don't feel weird. They don't like, uh, what is it? From what they look like in the pictures, they don't look as weird as you think they would. They're like, they feel, they feel, they don't feel, they feel comfortable in the hands. That's what it is. They're not too big, not too small. They're comfortable. And they come with wrist straps too for your wrists. These are recommended first time with VR. I recommend wearing these, you know, throw your controls all over the place. So let's go put them in your room and connect it and see. This is my son, uh, other VR, he had one, this one two, and that's today the third one he got. So right now he's going to try to connect it to your playstations. This is his room. So what are you trying to do right now? I get the zip tie off okay. of the controller thing. And I can't figure out why it's not coming off. There you go. So only you require only one wire, correct? Yeah, one USB-C cable, which is around, I think four and a half meters in length, which is a pretty decent size compared to most headsets that are on the market. And it's a simple, is plugging it directly into the console and then the PlayStation should pick it up once you turn it on. And there's a button on the bottom to turn it on, correct? The button right here to turn it on. It has a light indicator too to let you know it has power and push the headset and the headset has a rumble on the front of the headset and when it rumbles it'll there turn it on and then this will pop software up. update? Yes. Update now. That's first time plug it in. Yep. Update the headset. Now the headset has four cameras on the front of it for tracking, just similar to like the Quest 2. Uh, and it has a, it has eye tracking built in. These little things around it track your eyes. And there's also a button down here for the pass through, which you can also program to do, to get the built in microphone on the headset. And there's also a IPD slider, which stands for inner pupillary distance, 
to change how far away your eyes are. And then there's also the button up here, like the last gen PSVR that moves forward and back to change the eye relief. You also have the dial too. Mm. You push the button, go forward and back. It's a lot more premium than the other older headset. And there's also a built-in rumble on the front of it. Okay. All right, now we just get started with the headset. After all that, you, okay. Right now it's saying to plug the in. headphones to the VO VR set, the headset. headset. And the so audio jack, the way it works is, there's an audio jack here, there's an empty mm -hmm. hole right there. All you do is you get the audio jack, plug it back in there, and that's that, and you get the other one, put it in the hole. And then when you're not using them, you can put them in these little silicone tips right here and hold them when they're not being used. Good. Like that. All right, now it's going to ask us to pair the controllers. And how do you do this? You need the wire. You need the wire. The controllers use uh, USB-C to attach to stuff, so you just put it in there and you plug it right into the console. And then turn it on. There should be, and there's a light indicator on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. That tells you whether it's on or not. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. And hold the power button, which is the big PlayStation symbol. And I think it's connected to the left one. Now we're going to unplug it and go to the right one. Function button. And then it'll bring up a warning on the headset. You may want to read. Two. And then after that, it's going to want you to clear space to do the room setup. Okay, if you want to move okay. that over, you can. Okay. So you push the function button again to the next one. Turn lights. Okay, now you put the headset on. No. No? What is it saying? What? Check, check, check your brightness of your room. Why is it asking to put the headset on? Yeah, no, that's good. Okay, I'm rushing this one. Oh, it checks. Oh, it checks the brightness. There you go. So the headset, uh, when it pops up, you want to push the function button to check the lighting in your room to see if it can track the headset properly. And then after all of that, you then push, push the headset it on. Hold. So what it's telling you to do is to do the eye relief. So you have to you push it all the way forward. And you. Okay. And after that, you want to get the headband and then move it back. Put it around your head. And then tighten it. And it wants you to do that. Lower. And then. Okay. I already did that. Tighten the dial. I did. Okay. Okay, put the I'm your gonna, headphone. I'm not going to put those on right now. Okay. I'm going to skip this yeah, stuff. done. Again, oh, and then now it wants you to do the the eye tracking part. Okay. This is when you put the headset on and you change the dials to the to make sure it fits right in the middle of your face. So when it has the blue lights, that means your eyes are where it needs to be. And as you can see, the lights are moving up, uh, are uh, blinking and flashing away. Uh, the headset has built-in eye tracking, so when you uh, blink, the eyes will essentially close on there. But what you want is the blue ring on the headset. And after that you can go to the next step, Oh. which then will activate the pass-through. Oh, I can see that. So right now, you, you want see to see grab the controllers. Even you got the things on, but you can see through it. Yeah. Nice. The, this headset's uh, pass-through is a lot more clearer than the Oculus Quest 2's uh, pass-through, in my opinion. This is a lot more enjoyable to look through, not annoying. I'm just fixing the straps right now. So. Okay. So so clear. Yeah. It's a big. Uh, it's a big difference compared to the. Uh, so is it two K correct or four K? Uh, the headset is a, is around two K per eye. Okay. I don't remember the exact resolution, but it's around two K per eye, and the pass through cameras are really, really smooth, with everything. Alrighty. After that, once you hold both grips, as soon as you have the controllers. Alright, how do you use your sense controllers? And it's just giving you the tutorial on how to use the controllers. Which we can just skip for now. 
place you should. Oh, this is going to track the uh, eye tracking module now. Is going to calibrate. It's talking one sec. Here you go. See and it, with this headset, you dot. follow the red dot. And right now, and now you follow the same thing, but it's reversed. And now the headset should be calibrated for the eye tracking. And as you can see, the lights turn on whenever I look at them, and you can see if I move my eyes, they will be shown on the TV. Can you see the TV? Yeah. Yeah, so if I close my left eye, you'll see it. Close my right eye, if I move it, left eye, you can see it. That's the power of the eye tracking. And so right now, it's going to have us set the play area. So it's going to scan the area around you. And it's going to, want, it's going to use this to essentially... Uh, mm. You need to move that. This side. Yeah, you move to the bed. And it's going to track you. It's going to look at the area around you. And use this to calculate the proper play space for you. After and then it'll pop up a thing saying the room scale is done, and then it'll have you adjust floor, and it should yeah I got the floor right, and it's, you can pick whether you stand still or to all of that, and it's going to show your boundary around you. I wonder if I can change it to standing, so you can edit it. So if you want to make it shorter. You can. I forgot how to make it smaller. I'm gonna have to fix all this because I can't use half my okay, space. Okay, so now you're adjusting that your area. Right I now see. I'm making it. Yeah, I'm making it a lot smaller because. Yeah. I see. With the way my ceiling is, I'm not able to uh, have this much play area. I see. I see. So I'm just gonna so, have a so little. So show me. Show me how you do that, Gabby. So so. If you want to add to your play area, yes, what do you, do? you state you get the little zone and you get, yes. will get a plus button okay. and you can move your little, and you push the trigger down and you move your thing around to extend it. But if you want to minimize it, you'll go out and it'll be orange and then you just clear it like that. Let's see. Let's see. This should be good enough for my little area. Okay. I'm in the middle. This should be good enough. Probably get a little bit out of there. This should be good. Okay. And then after you push your little X button. And then you will set it up. There is room scale and there is standing. I have it set for standing. Room scale, you need about six feet by, oh, so you need 6.7 feet by 6.7 feet for a proper room scale if you want to do that. Okay. And now we're all set. And the headset's good. And it should take me to the cinematic view of the thing. So it's 4K then? It is around 4K, yes, okay. per eye. No, total. Total, yes, 4K. Okay, 2K per eye. Per eye, it's 2K. Yes. If you want to turn up the volume on the TV, you can. All right. Right now, we have the headset set up in cinematic view. What do you see, though? We just oh, finished installing Horizon. What are you doing? And we're going to play it's in the right now. If the boat goes over, it'll drown in these chains. So he drowns. Can you take this off my hand? There. Can't walk in the light. Can't see in the light, right? We should have staked him out and left him for the Glint Hawks. Damn shadow carja. These are your hands, correct? Your fingers? Yep. And you move these Several fingers, years right? in the military. Yeah. Uh, still the controllers know what fingers are down. Yeah. It's not exact, but they uh, they have somewhat. They know in a way. Where's two? The only place you can go is Don's grasp, and that's where. <laughs> and there's three taking like objects. Don's grasp. Go. What's the right Is this a prisoner exchange? Shut your voice down. There are machines out here. Oh, is it graphic? It's good. They're really sharp and clear. Just for Rod's giving you a chance. You want to make it back to Don's grasp alive? You can talk to him about a part. So, you can take your chances with us, or... Storm Park. Stay still. come this far to get struck by lightning. 
certain stuff happens, like headset right. shakes. Yeah? Yeah. Like when the bird went by, the whole headset moved. Oh, the headset uses a thing called uh, foveated rendering, and it works with the eye tracking. So wherever you're looking, it's rendering that. But then everything else is like lowered. Yeah. So it's able to like pump up and do the traffic. I asked you a question. Soul Valley's been filling with machines. The sun brought us Edom in the shadow to find out why. I'll get to you. I... Just hold on. <laughs> And the final thought, what do you think about the headset? How is the quality build, the material, how we feel? It's comfortable. Yes. The, it doesn't feel cheap. A lot of the material actually feels really comfortable. It's nice. It feels nice on the head. Uh, even with all the other headsets I've had, sometimes I actually just forget this thing is on my head most of the time. It's, it's, out of all the headsets, it's the lightest one. So it's a pretty good headset overall. And the material that... It's, it's a good quality, material, yeah. Quality. It's good. Okay. Everything is about it is perfect. Well, there you have it, folks, uh, the PlayStation VR second generations. And next time, we're going to do the comparison between the uh, PlayStation first generations, the Oculus, and the Valve Index. We're going to compare that in the next video. So please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the notification bell for future video. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye. Bye.